He's worthy to be praised. We give all glory to God, the creator of all things. We give an all glory to Jesus Christ, the one who paid it all, all to him we owe. Certainly give all glory to the Holy Spirit, our comforter, and our guide. We thank God for your trust to read for that wonderful song. Woke me up early this morning yes. in my right mind. Yes. I'm so grateful. grateful. I know you all. He didn't have to do it, Central, but he did it. Not all our goodness. Because of his grace and mercy, he allowed us to get up this morning. So uh, we shall always be grateful. There's a word from the Lord. Uh, we find in the gospel according to John. John, around that fifth chapter, beginning with the first verse call your attention to the Gospel of John, fifth chapter, first verse, I'll be reading from the King James Version. You'll find these words, and after this, there was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market, a pool, which is called in the Hebrew tongue, Bethesda, having five porches. In these lay a great multitude of impotent folk, of blind, halt, withered, waiting for the moving of the water. I want to take my text from that fourth verse. For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool. What's that word trouble? In trouble the water. All right. Whosoever name first after troubling of the water stepped in was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. Father God, I come as humble as I know how, Father. First, I said thank you for being so kind and so merciful to me, Lord. You've been mighty good to this preacher. And I will always be thankful to your father. And I know Central will always be thankful for your father. I come now, Lord, I ask that you hide me behind your cross. Let them see less of me and more of you, Lord. Send me a fresh anointing, dear God, that I may preach your word with power yes. and conviction, dear God. Thank you, God. Uh, Father God, we ask that you bless your people, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Give them strength, Lord. Yes. Certainly in these uncertain times, dear God. Anoint them afresh, dear God. You, that they not only hear your word, Lord, but they will continue to be doers of your word, Lord. Yes, Lord. And Father God, when it's all said and done, Lord, we will give you the glory. All the honor, Lord, and all the praises, dear God, yes. that you so well deserve. That is in Jesus' name, Jesus name. that I proud. And yes. all of God's children say, Amen. Amen. I want to use for a subject this morning. I want to use the words of the late Congressman John Lewis, I icon. These are his words from the subject, good trouble, mm. necessary trouble. Yes. I was in the spirit, and God told me to stay right there. All right. Good trouble, good trouble. Yes. necessary trouble. Before I get into the text, uh, I cannot stress enough that this upcoming election mm -hmm. is of the utmost important in our lifetime Stop by to remind the church that Obamacare is on the ballot. Yes, it is. Pre existing condition mm -hmm. is on the ballot. Right. Our health insurance is on the ballot. Yes. 
Our sons and daughters can be on our shore at the age of 26. It's on the ballot. Our economy is on the ballot. Our children's education is on the ballot. Climate change on the ballot. Immigration reform is on the ballot. Race relations is on the ballot. As a matter of fact, the late Congressman John Lou's legacy is on the ballot. Because he fought for equal opportunity. Uh, some people today say my, my vote don't count. Right. Well, if your vote don't count, why do you think they're still trying to suppress the vote? That's right. They want to suppress the vote because you know your vote still counts. That's right. Why do you think number 45 want to stop mailing voting? Yeah. Yeah. Because right. our vote is powerful. That's right. If it wasn't powerful, they wouldn't they'd leave it alone. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are in a pandemic. We need to vote by mail. We can't go stand in line. We once could use our voters' registration card to vote. Hmm. Now they make it hard for everybody to have an ID. Mm -hmm. Many states are closing many black precinct down. Folks can't drive, you have cars to go to other precincts. Yeah. They're closing it down because our vote count. Yeah. I can remember as a young fella, I remember when election times, pastors would get together and utilize the church buses yeah. to go and take people to vote. Mm -hmm. We don't see that no more. That's right. Mm -hmm. oh, I know I'm right about it. Yeah, Very seldom you see church buses taking folk to the poll. That's right. We have gotten so comfortable. The late Congressman John Lewis mm -hmm. said when he was a young boy, his parents and grandparents were often telling him to stay out of trouble. Because of time of civil unrest in the Jim Crow era, they were saying, stay out of trouble, son. But John Lewis said his uncle took him up north one day to Buffalo, New York. And up there was, seemed like a, another whole better place. They had better rules, better government system. Everything was better. When he got back home, he was dissatisfied because he saw how the North had paved roads mm -hmm. and how the government system was better than back home. Uh -huh. And he was dissatisfied. Yes. When he got home, he said the way his, his paved roads were, his community, bad books. Yes. John Lewis, as he got older, he was still dissatisfied. Mm -hmm. Couldn't understand why blacks, blacks living conditions, still dissatisfied. Yes. Color folks couldn't go into restaurants. Couldn't drink from the white water fountain. He was dissatisfied. Mm -hmm. So finally, he said he made up in his mind. He knew his parents meant well when they said, don't get in trouble. But he said he, he had to change that concept. That's right. And so he ran into Dr. King one day yes. and Rosa Paul. And they introduced him to a doc, doc told him, calling a boy from Troy. Told him, I'm going to teach you how to get in good trouble, good but trouble. necessary trouble. That's and since then, he was getting in trouble, John Lou's words. Every now and then, the church got to get in good trouble. Yes, sir. Necessary trouble. Yes, sir. When you get in good trouble, necessary trouble. God, God got your back. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. John Lewis was arrested over 40 times for people to have the right to vote. Mm -hmm. Things would never change until somebody make up their mind to make some good trouble. Amen. Necessary trouble. John Lewis reminds us that our vote is precious. He reminds us to never give up. He reminds us to speak up and speak out. Yes. We are down here to make the world a better place. Someone asks a question, what is meant by good trouble? Necessary trouble. Like well, the late John Lewis tells us, when you see something that is not right, yes. when you see something that is not fair, yes. When you see something that is not just, yeah. join Lewis say, just say something. Yeah. You must do something about it. Yeah. Must speak up and speak out. Well, That's what you call good trouble, oh, yeah. necessary trouble. You remember Walter Scott yeah. got gunned down by a North Charleston police officer, yes, shot five times in the back. Yes. But there was a young man yes. 
Yeah. Not far off in the woods. Right. Had his recorder with him. Yeah. And I know he had a thought about it. And I believe the young man said, I'm going to get in good trouble. Yeah. But necessary trouble. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. If he didn't get in good trouble, yeah. necessary trouble, yeah. that police officer would have been stolen the police force. Right. But he made up in his mind that he was going to get in good trouble. That's right. Necessary trouble. Am I right about it? They had a young lady in the school in Georgia, a young girl, a sophomore, and started in school last week. And when she got to the schoolhouse, nobody was wearing masks in the hallways. That young girl say, I'm going to get in good trouble, necessary trouble. See, things don't happen until you get in good trouble, necessary trouble. Nothing wrong with the church today. We don't want to get in good trouble. Necessary trouble. And that's why many of our churches is out of control. That's all right. That's all right. Oh, I'm going to take my time with this message today. I'm going to take my time. Are oh, you going to pray with me? Yes, man. When the last time, Central, that you get in good trouble? Come on. Necessary trouble. Right. But you know when you get in good trouble? Necessary trouble. We got a big brother named Jesus. Sits on the right hand side of the Father. Right. When you get in good trouble, yeah. necessary trouble, our brother will come and see about you. Right. John Lewis said, yeah. When you see something that is not right, when you see something that is not fair, yes, when you see something that is not just, yeah. you must say something, say something, you must do something about it, come you must speak up and speak out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There's an old saying, there's an old saying, if you're not at the table, then you are on the menu. <laughs> if you're not at the table, then you're on the menu, and someone is eating you for lunch. I'm right about it. Oh, I'm right about it. Shirley Chisholm, the lady named Shirley Chisholm saying, if, you don't, if they don't give you a seat at the table, bring your folding chair. Oh, yeah. Get close to the table. That's your chair. It's your chair. They can't move your chair. They can't not move your chair. That's your folding chair. In order to get the church straight, we got to get in good trouble. Necessary trouble. Good trouble bring on changes. Young people, you have to understand, we now can sit in the restaurants. We now can eat with the other folks because somebody got in good trouble and necessary trouble. Dr. King and Rosa Paul and John Lewis got in good trouble, necessary trouble. That's what now you can vote. That's what now you can go in the pool with the other folks. Somebody got in good trouble, necessary trouble. Until the church learned how to get in trouble, necessary trouble. The church will never be the church. That's right. What John Luther is saying, that there is power in getting in good trouble. Mm -hmm. Necessary trouble. Mm -hmm. How does the church get in trouble? The church must be spared to awaken. Mm -hmm. The church must get off the milk. You can't get in good trouble. Mm -hmm. Necessary trouble. If you're still drinking the milk, but when you, when you, when you eat the meat, when you eat the meat, you be able to get in good trouble, necessary trouble. All right. A church must call right, right, and the church must call wrong, wrong. Sometimes you gotta get in good trouble by yourself. Because somebody they can say, I'll be with you. Sometimes you gotta go by yourself. In order to get in good trouble, you must be filled with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. It's the one that gives you boldness. The Holy Spirit. The one that gives you strength. The Holy Spirit. The one that gives you power. John Luther, he learned to get in good trouble. The same God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, set a fire. And John Luther, as a young boy, once God set a fire, you will never be the same. Once God set a fire, you got to say something, you got to do something, you must speak up 
and speak out. Yes. You must be a voice for the voiceless. You must be a voice for the least of those. You must be a voice for the oppressed. You must be the voice for the poor. Yes. Thank you. Why do you think the Confederate flag came down? Right. Someone got in good trouble. Good trouble. Necessary trouble. Why do you think the statues and monuments of former slave owners uh -huh. are coming down? Yeah. Somebody got in good trouble. Yeah. Necessary trouble. Yeah. They spoke up. You must do something about it. Yeah. The late Marvin Gaye sang a famous song. What's going on? Ah, he said, what's going on? Marvin had to say something. Yeah. He had to do something about it. He had to speak up and speak out. Often say, what's going on? Yeah. Barry Gordon, the founder of Motown to Marvin, yeah. that going to hurt your career. Yeah. Marvin said, I'm going to get in some good trouble, on, necessary trouble. <laughs> yeah, Marvin said, you must say something, yeah. you must do something. Yeah. Marvin said, yeah. mother, mother, yeah. there's too many of you crying. <laughs> say, brother, brother. There's far too many of you dying. Yeah. Marvin say, yeah. you know we have got to find a way to bring some love and hate today. Yeah. Marvin say, Father, Father, we don't need to escalate. You see, war is not the answer. He got in trouble. Yeah. Necessary trouble. Yeah. He said, if only love can conquer hate, you know we got to find a way to bring some love and hate today. Marvin yeah. gets a pick in lines. And pick your signs. Don't punish me with brutality. Talk to me so you can see. You can't jack the book by the cover. You got to open the book up and see what's in the book. Loving game. Got in good trouble. Necessary trouble. His song stole one of the popular songs today. Oh, yes. Oh, grandmother. Let's go back to the Bible. You remember in the book of Exodus, they had some midwives. And the king of Egypt said, when the Hebrew wife are born, born a child, if, if it's a girl, let it live. But if, if it's a boy, kill them. And those two midwives made up in their mind. You got to make up in your mind. You got to make up in your mind. Those boxes, those midwives, Fear the Lord, yeah. and they got into some good trouble. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, necessary trouble. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When the baby came, yes. when the baby boys were born, they made sure they lived. That's right. That's right. And then the king of Egypt found out about it, yeah. and when he came down, he called them in his office. Yeah. 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 <laughs> he called them in the office. We don't know why to let the boys live. But those women, they got in good trouble. Necessary trouble. When you get in good trouble, necessary trouble, God will take care of you. When they call up in his office, that they told him the Hebrews women are different from the Egyptian woman. You see, the Hebrews women, they gave breath so quick. By the time we get there to deliver the baby, they already going home. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. You got to learn how to get in good trouble. Necessary trouble. Well, I'm right about it. Yes, sir. Mm. Now, I'm right about it. Yes, sir. Deacons, let me talk to the deacons now. Deacons, well, you might learn to get in trouble. Well, Necessary trouble. Well, when you see a member well, not in check after a while, well, you got to call them out. Get in good trouble. Necessary trouble. Tell them. Tell them. Get their spiritual house in order. Tell them. Oh, yes. Having this place for prepared people. You got to learn how to get in good trouble. Necessary trouble. People's life is on the line. Ushers, you got to learn to get in trouble. Necessary trouble. When you see folks in the church on their iPad, on their phone, on Facebook, you got to learn how to get in trouble. Necessary trouble. You got to tell them. You got to.
you tell them this is a house of worship. This is a house of prayer. You got to get in your trouble. Necessary trouble. Ah. Minister of music. You got to learn to get in your trouble. Necessary trouble. If they don't come to rehearsal, they can't come on Sunday morning and sing their favorite song. Get in good trouble. Necessary trouble. God got your back. Preachers, you got to get in trouble, preachers. You got to preach the word in season. When they want it heard and when they don't want it heard, you got to tell them the way of sin is death. And the gift of God is eternal life. Tell them. You got to tell them. Tell them the truth. Nothing but the truth. Yes, sir. That's mm. all right. Mm. That's all right. Church members, yes. you got to get in trouble. Good trouble. Good trouble. Necessary yes. trouble. Tell the folk that you once been lost, but now you've been found. Tell the folk that you once was blind, but now you can see. about Jesus, he always get in good trouble. Necessary trouble. Jesus. In order to get in good trouble, necessary trouble, God got to stir your spirit up. That's what Paul told Timothy. Stir up your gift. You can't get in good trouble. Necessary trouble. If you ask God, to stir up the gift in you. Yeah. Stir up your talent. I'm right about it. When you stir up the gifts, spiritual walls will come tumbling down. When you stir up your gifts, better things are coming by and by. When you stir up, hey, yeah. when you get in good trouble, yeah. necessary trouble, yes, God's word will be a lamp to your feet yes, sir. and a light yes. to your pathway. Yes, sir. When you ask God to stir up your gifts, yes. you can ask God, it shall be given. Yes. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and the door will be open. Yes. When you ask God to stir up your gift, you'll be with the weight of the Lord. Yes. You shall mount up as wings off it like an eagle. You shall run and not be weary. Yes. You shall walk and not faint. came down from 42 generation he came down just to get in good trouble necessary trouble that's why now we have the right to a tree of life he got in good trouble necessary trouble that's why now we got a down payment of the Holy Spirit but Jesus got in trouble necessary trouble that's why now we can have unspeakable joy in darkness, because Jesus got in trouble, necessary trouble. We are now justified because Jesus got in trouble, got in good trouble, necessary trouble. We are washed in the blood of the Lamb, but Jesus got in good trouble, necessary trouble. Now I'm about to take my seat. But let me talk a little bit about the text. Well, I don't want you to say that he didn't deal with the text. If you notice, the lame was at the pool. The blind did not see was at the pool. The helpless were at the pool. The abandoned was at the pool. But nothing happened. Nothing happened. Nothing happened until God took the water. That's how things happen when you get in good trouble. Necessary trouble. The angel. And one thing about God, when you get in good trouble, necessary trouble, guess what? God goes in first. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Huh? Huh? You remember, you remember George, George Floyd, right? You remember George Floyd, right? Huh? Not what's going on. Huh? But Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. Got in good trouble. Necessary trouble. That's what they begin to happen when God stirred the water. When God took the water, 
the blind was able to see. When God troubled the water, the lame began to walk. When God troubled the water, the sick became healed. When God troubled the water, everything changed. When God troubled the water, you will never be the same. When God troubled the water, When God troubled the water, you can be assured that sickness must yield to healing. When God troubled the water, hindrance must bow down to deliverance. When God troubled the water, the upper hand must open the door to victory. Once God troubled the water, rest might give way to liberation. Once God troubled the water, death must turn it over to salvation. I am. Oh yeah, when death get a hold of you, when God show up, he got to loose you and let you go. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm almost out of the way now. When God trouble the water, the grave must release you. When God trouble the water, the cat must be set free. When God trouble the water, we can recover all. When God trouble the water, sins can come to Christ. When God trouble the water, breakthrough is available. Possibilities are not unlimited. Hatred must make room for love. When God trouble the water, bitterness must bow down to joy. When God trouble the water, evil must open the door for forgiveness. Yeah. 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 Wow. When God trouble the water, injustice must make room for justice. When God trouble the water, unforgiveness must surrender to forgiveness. When God trouble the water, unhappiness must submit to peace. When God trouble the water, the enemy must give way to kindness. When God trouble the water, jealousy must open the door to contentment. When God trouble the water, drunkenness must give way to soberness. When God trouble the water, anger must give way to harmony. Uncleanness must give way to peace. When you learn how to get in good trouble, necessary trouble, Jesus got on good trouble, necessary trouble, took him to the cross. That's all right. But because he got in good trouble, necessary trouble, they put him in a borrowed tomb. Because he got in good trouble, necessary trouble, he stayed there all night, Friday night, all night, Saturday. But early, early, early Sunday morning, my God and your God got up with all power. When you get up and when you do good, get trouble, necessary trouble, God will take care of you. Good trouble, necessary trouble. Until the church learn how to get in good trouble. Necessary trouble. People life is on the line. And that's why God got the church on time out. We've been hiding behind the four walls. God said, no more hiding behind the four walls. God said, I'm going to call you out. That's why he got the church on time out. God said, you're just hiding behind the wall. Learn how to get in good trouble. Necessary trouble. Oh, yeah. 